Hey, what's up guys? So this is opening 022, the 22nd opening that I'm going to share with you is the FAT draw opening. So FAT definitely doesn't represent for uh, what you think it's representing in terms of uh, fat, but uh, nothing to do with the body size, but rather I think uh, FAT are the initials of the three uh, known players who actually used to play this opening quite a lot, I believe. At least that was what I was told. And of course, this is probably one of the longer sequences that I'm going to run through amongst uh, probably all the openings that I'm going to share with you. Um, we'll run through the sequence uh, quickly. So basically, it's the usual calm off opening that uh, both players just try to follow to the best line, except for F8 uh, being known as a move that is actually a perfect play move, and even though the software is actually indicating minus three. Uh, so white actually responds to the best move over here. And of course, the follow-up is basically all the software recommended best moves. H3, H5, giving up the itch, and finally black capturing H7. So with black capturing H7, that actually kickstarts the FAT draw opening. Uh, definitely the sequences that follow would be counterintuitive for white, very tempo-focused. Uh, very difficult mid game for white because, uh, but I think even for black, there are so many sequences to learn in terms of trying to shut down all the excess. So you can see that it's uh, opening that is very black dominated in terms of the number of discs at the start. So the key of uh, playing a good uh, FAT draw opening for black is actually to shut down all the excess and to basically try to play in a very overwhelming uh, excess control game against white, while white is just trying to desperately hold on to a single move as much as possible to ensure that the tempo is still in control. So if white is actually able to do that and try to make black play a very messy game, uh, it would actually result in a very high variance end game uh, in, in result that white would probably win by a huge margin if black uh, doesn't play out to the best. And of course, if black really plays out to the best and pressurizes white, uh, in fact, black can it almost like uh, wipe out black, I mean wipe out white uh, quickly or basically uh, result in a very extreme line and excess control game that would result in black uh, achieving a very high margin win as well. So of course uh, this opening being something that is very deep and complex, I would definitely only recommend expert players and above to actually try this opening for black. If not, uh, you would probably be better off playing either the Tiger or the Rose variations, uh, which are lower in variances, I guess. So there isn't a necessity to actually go to the extreme just to try to learn this uh, particular opening, I guess. So of course, if white does funnel you there, you could probably have uh, many other options as well. So I'll leave you on that note, and thank you for watching this video.